Hey, what's up? My name is Riley Murphy, aka Murph30. I am a beat maker. I've been doing this about five years now, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about what goes into my beat making process. So here we've got FL Studio. This is what I like to use. It's pretty simple to learn, and it's a good program. You can do a lot with this here. So a lot of my beat, I use samples, right? Samples from other songs. And one might argue that using a sample, you're stealing, you know, you're stealing someone else's music. But really, the art of sampling, it's not about that. It's about taking something old and you're recreating it. You're making something. You're making something new. You're making something different. You're making something that's your own, and that's what sampling is all about. So, I've got a song loaded up. It's by a band called LTD. It's an older band, uh, a soul band. This song's called "Don't Stop Loving Me," and I'm gonna. I have the sample already cut, but I'll give you a listen on the song. So I already cut the sample using Edison, which is a great tool. And I got the, I cut the just that first part. That was a really cool string. It sounds really different. So I've got it looped here. Let me play. So it's looped right there. And what you have to do after you cut it, I go into here in this time stretching here. I set it to pro default and I use this knob here and you can adjust it to fit the bar of the song. Now the next step, you can do this two ways. The easy way is to do it. Uh, you can program the drums yourself. I've got lots of drum kits over here on the side. You can pick out your kick, your snare, your hi hat, or you can get you can get drum loops. You, you know, you download them online, which has got the drum patterns already in a loop, kind of like the sample. You'll just you'll put it in your the sequencer here, and you fit it to to form the sample. But right now, I've got a drum pattern set up. Right here, you can see that, and I like to do my kick and my snare separate from my hi hat here. And for this beat, what I've got prepared, I've got pattern one, which is a kick and the snare. Pad, I got pattern two, which I renamed. That's my hi hats here. And pattern three is kind of a little drum roll. And if you look on here, I've got it sequenced up. I've got pattern one, the sample the snare roll and then the hi-hats down here so you can see how I layered it and it's quite simple just need an ear for it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play what I have so far Now, I kind of, you know, this is a VST plugin I got. 
I'm thinking about maybe adding some sort of horn string, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. As far as layering it, but real quick, here's the mixer. Uh, I've got everything kind of EQ'd already. Everything set to a different insert. I put some reverb on, some reverb on the snares here. I kind of got it mixed a little bit, make everything the right, the right volume here. I've got the condenser set up, the limiter, the compressor, excuse me. Well, that's pretty much it, you know, it's a rough beat so far, but that's how I do it. And you can check out my SoundCloud. I got a couple different SoundClouds, but my newest one is The Real Murph 30. I got a couple of projects going on, a couple different instrumentals. You can check them out. And, you know, if you like them, get a hold of me or whatever. Any questions or anything, you let me know, and I'll do what I can to help you out.